The Writers Guild of America, or the WGA, have officially gone on strike. It's a confusing time to be an enjoyer of all media, but why does it matter? What happens next, and what could happen if it's not resolved in a timely manner? I'm here to answer all these questions to the best of my ability. Hollywood is a breakneck industry. Oftentimes, weird and long hours tend to be part of the job. While the glory and fame that come with these hours seem attractive, it's the people behind the scenes we need to focus our attention on today. Writers often can make or break a project. While good actors can make up for the bad foundation of what a film is, often what becomes on the screen is what is written on the page. The writers initiated a strike on May 2nd and intend to bring their full might to the negotiating table with every single union being a part of this, which is unheard of ever, really. So what are they seeking? First off, the pay. Due to the increase in streaming and the overall climate of the industry right now, writers are paid very little in the grand scheme of things. According to the WGA, 49% of writers are paid the minimum rate for their incredible services. As well as the sharp spike downward in number of episodes per season has sharply cut the writer's pay date by a ton. They're also seeking health benefits and pensions out of the strike, which seem incredibly important and are incredibly important to this negotiation. Next is residuals. Residuals, if you don't know, is a portion of money that the writer or actor, or really anyone featured in that movie or episode, get when the project is sold to a network to run on TV or reruns that happen on uh, cable networks. A lot of writers bank on these residuals to live and to cover themselves between the projects. With the rise of streaming, the residuals aren't really hitting the same. To counteract this, writers are seeking higher fees up front. And finally, the big buzzword that's all over everything really nowadays, AI. The rise of AI has been foretold in nearly every sci-fi future setting movie, and it finally may be time for the future to become the present. AI, like I said, is a big buzzword all over social media, the news, etc. Writers seem to feel threatened by this evolution of technology, for, and for good reason. While AI needs some tuning, directors like the Russo brothers are predicting a full AI script in the next coming years. I mean, in all reality, that's all their movies outside the MCU, but anyways, not the point. The WGA wants to ban the usage or heavily restrict the usage of AI as it really does threaten their livelihood. So what happens next? Most shows and movies that are in pre-production or the writing stage will likely go dark. By that, I mean there won't be episodes coming out after a certain point. Movies will become delayed and some of these projects may just be outright canceled due to the cultural zeitgeist around the project may become silent throughout. Many shows have already gone dark as they heavily rely on current events to create content and are wooden day of. These are your late night shows, your SNLs, your soap operas, and a lot more. A lot of these shows in production have already been halted due to the strike, which will likely lead to delays. Cobra Kai, House of the Dragon, and Abbott Elementary are just to name a few. This will likely lead into movies stopping production if the scripts aren't already finished. Off the top of my head, this could affect The Batman Part 2, Sonic 3, and among other films that are in the pipeline that haven't already begun shooting. Even then, it could likely lead to a backup. Oftentimes, writers are on set to fix any issues with the script on location in case something's not working out. This being budget, this being set pieces, a myriad of other things, and likely can lead to issues in production if a writer is not there on the scene. Now, what happens if this isn't resolved in the next few days, weeks, or even months? Simply, if the projects aren't ceasing already, are likely going to hire smaller writers who don't have the experience to handle such projects. Quality will often go rotten, or episodes will simply just be cut. How do I know this? The 2007 and 08 writers that had a sweeping effect on the Hollywood landscape. This is the reason why films like Revenge of the Fallen were, well, bad for lack of a better term. But that was more due to the writers writing a treatment in two weeks and production began on the note rather than waiting for the writers to actually make a script. The beloved show Heroes quality dropped significantly and got cancelled after poor reception from the public. The real life effects became evident quite quickly during that time as well. During the strike, the state of California lost over $2 billion, and if companies are willing to delay projects, writers will be able to resume production after the strike is over. While some of you may point the finger at the writers for asking more than they 
earn right now. Remember, these are people who are wanting to make a living to adjust to the times and to continue to entertain you. Blame the production companies for not fairly compensating these hardworking individuals and support them in every way possible on social media. Overall, these writers are incredibly important to everything we digest on a daily basis and we need to support them to the fullest extent because we don't want another Revenge of the Fallen. Just keep an eye on, the, uh, eye on it. Hope that the things you're looking forward to, like for me, the Batman Part 2, if it gets pushed, I, would, I wouldn't like it, but what's more important is these people are fairly compensated for the work that are putting in, much like you and I, who aren't in the, the Hollywood industry. So, uh, But thank you guys for watching today's video. Uh, I know it's a short one, but it's a very important one to me, and I think it's a very important to everyone who's looking forward to certain projects that are coming out. Just keep an eye on where your film where your projects that you're looking forward to are in production or um how they work out like abbott elementary writes while they're shooting so thank you guys for watching i'm the bad tech and you are the internet make sure you subscribe for more videos like this or reviews or anything of the sort you see what's on the channel you can guess what i'm gonna do in the next few days and i'm planning a huge event for the summer um starting on june 3rd with the uh across the spider-verse review and then going into the rest of the summer with the rest of the rest of the Spider-Verse movies from the Tobey Maguire's, the Andrew Garfield's, the Tom Holland's, and I'm even going to get into the animated shows, which I'm not looking very forward to because a lot of those are very long. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm the Bedek, and you're the internet, and have a good night.